Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to kick off the fall season with like a really savory dish, something that really reminds you of sweater weather and fall time. And I am wearing a sweater, even though it's like probably still 100 degrees outside, but that's okay. We wanna make this video feel like fall time and like everybody can enjoy the fall time, right? Ever since I did my afternoon routine video, I did a pot roast in that video, but I didn't do the recipe and I had so many requests to do a video on just the pot roast. So today I'm gonna to be showing you exactly how I make it. I have a really fun dessert slash drink to share with you. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you want me to continue to make more food videos like this. And let's just go ahead and get to cooking. Anytime that I'm making a pot roast recipe, I like to make sure that all the ingredients are prepped up front. The beauty of making pot roast is that you can add any ingredient that you want to it. I personally like to add garlic. I like to cut it in slices and then I also like to use uh, portobello mushrooms and I cut those in halves because I still want it to be uh, nice and chunky. And then I add some onions. Today this is what I had on hand and then carrots. Once everything is prepped, I start working on the chuck roast and I like to season it with sea salt and pepper first. And don't be shy with the sea salt. Since this is a pretty thick cut, it's gonna be very difficult <laughs> to get it uh, seasoned perfectly. So don't be shy with it. Make sure you get both sides. This is the key part to your pot roast coming out nice and juicy every single time. Sear it on the stove before putting it on the slow cooker. Put it on the pan on one side, leave it on for eight to 10 minutes and then flip it over and do the same to the other side. I'm telling you guys, this is the key to having extra tender pot roast every single time. You want to make sure that it's nice and charred like this. So now once both sides are seared, I go ahead and add it to the slow cooker. And then whatever is left over on the pan, I don't waste any of that. <laughs> I will deglaze it with either wine or actually in this video, I ended up using red wine, but you can also use beef stock. And then I just add that to the crock pot and then I start adding all of the ingredients with the exception of the carrots. I don't add the carrots until one hour before the roast is done. And then I also add a can of cream of mushroom soup. This is gonna give it that really thick and gravy consistency. And then I add half a cup of beef stock. And then I add about two tablespoons of Worcester sauce. And I'm probably not saying that properly. <laughs> I add either one large bay leaf or two small bay leaves. Another key ingredient that gives it a lot of flavor is a ranch dressing in the powder form. I know it sounds really weird, but trust me guys, this is going to make a huge difference. And then I like to add sun-dried tomatoes. It gives it a little bit of a tanginess to it and it's so good. So I just add uh, about half a jar. Sometimes I let it cook overnight and I'll put it on low and I'll let it cook for eight to nine hours. On this day, we had it four hours later, so I went ahead and put it on high so it could cook a lot quicker. During those four hours, I figured I would just paint some pumpkins. I'm gonna walk a hundred miles. I'm gonna whistle all the while. If that's what it takes to make me smile. I'm gonna walk a hundred miles. I'm gonna run right up the sky or winter chill if i gotta take a break i will but i'm gonna run right up this hill i wanna hold the whole wide world right here in my so after about three or four hours i go back and check on the pot roast and see where it's at in this case it was fully cooked you could tell because the meat was starting to fall apart already so i went ahead and added the carrots i don't like my carrots to be mushy so that's why i add them an hour before i turn the pot roast off after that hour is up you will have this delicious looking pot roast and i served it with mashed potatoes i'll leave the mashed potato recipe also down in the description box and it is such a warm and cozy and comforting dish so you can see the meat just falls apart. And this is after four hours. If you, if you let this cook overnight, it'll be even more delicious if that's even possible. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to make this super fun and delicious dessert slash drink. And this is perfect for the fall and winter months. Super easy, all you need is some ice cream. 
any flavor that you like. I used vanilla bean and then I also added some cotton candy. This happened to be banana cotton candy, but I think that the original would also be just as yummy. So you just serve the ice cream with the shot of espresso on the side and once you're ready to eat it, you go ahead and pour the shot of espresso over the cotton candy and you have like this super cute presentation, but it's also super tasty. The cotton candy sweetens that shot of espresso and then you get the cold ice cream with the warm coffee and you can either eat it with a spoon or you can drink it kind of like doesn't matter what the future brings i'm gonna live a crazy dream so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you go. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I put these type of videos up on Sundays. They are my lifestyle Sunday videos. And then during the week, you can come back for makeup tutorials, makeup reviews, anything makeup and fashion related. And if you want to see more holiday cooking ideas, let me know. I love holiday cooking so, so much. And also share this video with a friend if you found it to be interesting or anything like that. And I will talk to you guys next time. Mwah. Bye.